The revolution of 1910 that swept Mexico also deeply affected the United States, and the two countries would never be the same. The revolution hit the rich against the poor and the landless against the land. It cost 1.2 million lives, removed the old order, and ushered in the modern era. By 1910, the Diaz had ruled for 35 years. All appeared tranquil, but it was an election year and the winds of change were stirring. Francisco Madero ran against Diaz on a campaign of reform. The Mexican people's hopes for justice were placed on him and his wife, Sara. Alarmed, Don Porfirio ordered Madero and 6,000 of his followers in prison. Madero eluded Diaz and called for revolution on November 20, 1910. Francisco Pancho Villa in the north and in the south, Nahuatl and Spanish-speaking Emiliano Zapata both supported Madero. On May 25, 1911, Don Porfirio renounced the presidency and left Mexico for Paris. In October, Madero was elected president. At the revolution trial, actually, it was a mere change of top government with the same forces in place just below the president. In February 1913, General Victoriano Huerta arrested Madero, assassinated him in cold blood, and took control of the government. The nation erupted with outrage, and revolutionaries took up arms again. Venustiano Carranza, Pancho Villa, and Emiliano Zapata each assumed control of a separate region of Mexico.